What's up? This is your love reading, November 10th through the 17th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, since this is a love reading, I do recommend checking your Moon and Venus signs as well as they may resonate better for you than your Sun sign when it comes to a love reading. All right, let's go Taurus. Your overall energy. So the overall is for whoever's watching the video, whether this is you Taurus or you cross watcher this is the energy that you're taking on right now everything else here is interchangeable it can be for you or the person that you're dealing with and since this is a general reading it's not specifically for singles or couples take it however it resonates if it resonates at all if it does i'd love to hear about it in the comments as well okay taurus here we go your overall energy you have the chariot reverse so it's lack of forward movement. You might feel like you're, you know, stagnant, stuck, like you just can't get ahead, you can't move forward. Um, if you are trying to travel to see someone when it pertains to love, there's some delays there, obviously. If you're trying to travel with someone that you're in a relationship, delays there too. Um, Let's not ignore the obvious. This could also be cancer energy and there could be a creepy cross watcher and this could be your energy. So if that's you, I got you. All right. You just know that I know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Your recent past, the 10 of pentacles reverse. So this is your energy as well as Virgo and Capricorn. It's just kind of like a lack of commitment, lack of stability. There might have been some financial issues that were affecting your relationship or situationship, whatever it is for you. Um, there may have been an ending to a pretty significant relationship in your recent past, whatever it is in your world. Now you're present though, you have the seven of wands. This is very guarded. It's defensive. It's a stand your ground card. It's fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you got your walls up for some reason or the other person does someone's feeling super fucking defensive here we'll see your immediate future you have the eight of cups re reverse this is water energy cancer scorpio pisces this is a not walking away from something that you or the other person may be considering walking away from or have considered it um, or it is a going back to a past situation that you've previously walked away from okay um, eight of cups upright is walking away from a disappointing situation something that you put a lot of love into right it's already eight cups you're almost at the ten you almost made it but you just couldn't get there so you're just leaving it all behind and going off to find your ninth cup your wish fulfillment blah 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 it's reversed, so someone isn't walking away here, um, or someone's coming back. Okay, which may be why you are guarded here. Now, your potential obstacle, you have the Ace of Wands, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There may be a fire sign that's problematic in your relationship, situationship, whatever it is for you. As an obstacle though, this is this is an awesome card. It's one of my favorites. So as an obstacle, it's a little weird. Um, somebody might have some sexual issues that are sort of an obstacle. Somebody might have some fetishes. Somebody may be a little promiscuous. Um, whatever. No judgment. All right, let's clarify. <coughs> Clarify the chariot reversed for Taurus. Clarify the chariot reversed for Taurus. That's too many. Clarify the chariot reversed for Taurus. Clarify the chariot reversed for Taurus. Please. Four of Cups, okay? This is apathy, it's contemplation, it's boredom. Um, you may be feeling like stuck, like you can't move forward, like, you know, shit's just stagnant and you're getting really like over it. Like you just, it's almost like a not even giving a fuck. Like you got these options here, right? There's three on the ground and there's one being offered to you by the fucking universe and you're just like, yeah, whatever, whatever. 
Why? Because you can't move, because you're stuck. All right, let's clarify the Seven of Wands. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Why is Taurus so guarded? November 10th through the 17th. Clarify the Seven of Wands for Taurus. <laughs> That's your card, guys. What's up, the Hierophant? This is you. This is your energy. Um, why are you guarded? Because of what? Because of commitment? Um, hmm. You have your walls up like what? Against commitment? Against traditional values? Maybe you and the person that you're dealing with have like confl conflicting religious beliefs. Confl confl why can't I fucking talk? Conflicting spiritual beliefs, cultural beliefs, whatever. And it has you kind of defensive, kind of guarded. Um, hmm. That's a strange one. I'm going to have to clarify again. But let's clarify the Eight of Cups first. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Reverse for Taurus. <coughs> Clarify the Eight of Cups reversed for Taurus in love, November 10th through the 17th. Five of Swords. Okay. Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a petty conflict. It's just harsh communication, you know, nothing major. Um... It's just back and forth bullshit, criticism, whatever. So, <coughs> um, it's a really strange combination. You guys have a weird reading. I don't know what the hell's going on in your world. Um, okay, Eight of Cups reverse. So, there's a situation that is challenging. Like, you guys probably talk to each other like shit but somebody's not willing to walk away from it still. Like, there's probably name calling, you know, whatever. Just trash talking constantly, but somebody's still not able to walk away. Um, let's clarify the Ace of Wands as an obstacle. Five of Pentacles reverse. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is, guys, there's something here with an X. Um, the Five of Pentacles reversed, all right? So Five of Pentacles upright is abandonment, rejection, being left out in the cold. It's poverty mentality. It's, it's an actual breakup, right? A leaving of a home. Um, now reverse, it's somebody's coming in from out of the cold. Somebody is coming back from feeling abandoned, rejected. Um, and I think it's because there's some sort of like sexual addiction here. Some sort of like, um, how do I want to, I don't even know if I want to say addiction, but some people just, you know, a lot of relationships are just sex-based and that's why they last so long and that's why people put up with so much bullshit because there's some weird sexual aspect to it that maybe other people would not be comfortable with so they stick around in this shit. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to get too detailed. I really don't. Um... I'm going to I'm going to keep clarifying, but I'm going to get you some advice first. Advice for Taurus. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Okay. Your first advice card, you have the Tower reverse. This is Mars energy, so Aries and Scorpio doesn't have to mean anything and I don't really think that it does in the advice position the position I swear to fucking god I can't talk in this reading why because it's so fucked up um anyway so the tower reversed as your advice card it's avoiding disaster you can avoid this disaster you can avoid this 
crumbling of your foundation, so to speak. Um, it's like your whole world is ready to fall apart. You can't avoid it. Um, how are you going to avoid it? Hide now. <laughs> Virgo energy, if that means anything to you. It doesn't have to. Um, you have to just kind of hermit for a while. You kind of have to hide out, go within, find out what the fuck's going on here. Um, you know what I mean? Kind of just like hide out until shit blows over kind of thing so you can avoid that tower. All right, let's clarify. Um, what else do we want to clarify? Let's clarify this Five of Swords. What is this conflict? Clarify the Five of Swords for Taurus. What's this conflict about? Clarify the Five of Swords for Taurus. What is this conflict about? Page of Wands reversed. Um, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is like either a really immature fire sign or lack of passionate communication or a very sex-based communication. And I don't mean sex-based in a good way, like it's very passionate. I mean like, um, how do I want to explain it? Like somebody who only contacts you for sex and then they're not even nice about it. You know what I mean? It's like that kind of energy. But with that being here, with the Eight of Cups reversed and the conflict card, like, and the Ace of Wands is an obstacle, I think it's some sort of sexual attachment that either you have to an ex or they have to you that is making it it's making it hard for somebody for, for somebody to walk away and somebody is really defensive over it, really guarded. Um, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's either trying to come back and they may be using sex to do so. Mm-hmm. Let's get another clarifier for your overall. Clarify the chariot and the four of cups for Taurus. Oh, the lovers. Hmm. Okay, so this is a balanced connection. There is like some sort of balanced union here. It is harmony, it is balance, but then you have this contemplation, this boredom card here, and this feeling of not moving forward, of being stuck. So you have this connection, but for some reason you don't feel like it's going anywhere and it's boring you. Or you're dealing with a Gemini a fucked up cancer because they're reversed and you're just sitting there looking at all these options like mm, yeah I'm not really feeling it I'm not really feeling any of it right that could be too um, or you if you're traveling to see someone just be prepared that there's gonna be some travel issues some delays you might want to check out your car or something if you're driving a long distance to see someone just whatever um, Clarify this Five of Pentacles as an obstacle. Five of Pentacles reversed as an obstacle. Somebody wants to come in out of the cold and have sex with someone, basically. <laughs> Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Oh, the sun reverse. This is lack of clarity, lack of happiness. Um, hidden shit, blah, blah, blah. I'll clarify it again. That's too many. That's like five of them. Sorry, guys. 
clarify the sun, reverse. Six of Pentacles reverse, that's an out of balance connection. There's not equal give and take. Um, you guys got some shit, some shit happening this week. All right, I'm gonna pull another clarifier for this tower. What is this tower that you are trying to avoid this week? What is this tower that you need to hide out from? Clarify the tower for Taurus. The moon, a Pisces. If you're dealing with a Pisces, you don't have to be. It is secrets, it's hidden shit. Um, there's some secrets here that you're trying to hide from or somebody else's. Um, you're really trying to avoid this, you know, collapsing of something because there's some secrets here, you know, and you have the sun reversed here too. So lots of hidden shit in this reading, lots of it. Um, and you're really just trying to hide from it <coughs> so that it doesn't all fall apart. Actually, I'm gonna grab the other deck. All right, let's clarify the moon as your advice. Clarify the moon. What's this hidden shit? King of Cups reverse. Water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So either there is someone is has some secrets about, you know, a King of Cups reverse type person. King of Cups reverse is like emotionally unavailable, emotionally manipulative, like dramatic out of sorts, not healthy emotionally, um, probably has some mental issues. So there may be some secrets surrounding that type of a person. Um, you may be trying to avoid this disaster by kind of keeping that person under control. Does that make sense? So that they don't fucking lose their shit and everything falls apart. Um, <coughs> Yeah, anyway, you guys got some shit with you this week. So, try to navigate it well and go within, hide out, get your clarity, watch out for all those bullshit surrounding you, and good luck. Take care, guys.